everybody big mess brain messer messer branch outdoor in today's video we're going to talk to you about the 2023 nwtf sports show and convention highlights tips for first timers and the 2024 show date so be sure to stick around <laughs> there's that avian Boy, Braden, the 2024 show is upon us here soon, but let's recap 2023. Yeah. It was a good show, wasn't it? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was a lot more walking, and um, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but... <laughs> overwhelming? Yeah, overwhelming. Some of the numbers about the 2023 show, it was definitely a record-setting attendance. 60, 67,368 people was in attendance over the three days of the sports show there. There was 512 sports show exhibitors, 1,400 plus calls entered in the competition. Then there was 230 plus callers in the Grand National Calling Championship. So there was a lot packed in to the NWTF there in Nashville at the Gaylord Opryland Hotel and Convention Center. And that's just a blows my mind for sure. Um, we had a chance to go in and see some of those uh, calls that was on the second day that we was there. It actually was so big, folks. It was actually in a separate room. So we definitely encourage you, if you have a chance, to go take a look and see those if you can. They yeah. were pretty sharp, weren't they? Yeah, it was a lot larger than I was expecting. I wouldn't have thought over 60,000 people would have attended the event. I would have thought maybe 20,000 or less. You know, some of the other highlights we might want to point out, though, was the personalities um, mm -hmm. there. You had a chance to, to meet some of those. Tell everybody mm -hmm. what your experience was with that and what they should expect. Well, if you want to meet people, you need to do it on the first day you're there. And because I got to meet Michael Waddell and um, Nick Munt and the Bone Collector crew there. And we seen Paul, Paul. Paul, Paul yeah, Paul, Paul Waddell. And we got to see walking around you'd see some more people like people from small town hunting and then philip culpepper and the um the hunting public they were there at the woodhaven booth and it's just overwhelming and if you want to meet people you have to i think you should go try to meet them first thing you do when you get there or <clears throat> one of the first things on your agenda whenever you're walking around in there but it's definitely going to be overwhelming, or could be, and there will be a lot of call manufacturers and a lot of stuff you never heard of, a lot of new products and new firearms, new blinds, new chairs, new decoys. Heck, there was even paintings and there was jewelry. Oh, absolutely, and, and it, uh, Braden brings up a great point. The sports show actually starts on a Thursday if it doesn't fall out of his chair. <laughs> but uh, it does start on a Thursday. We were able to get there Friday. We went Friday, and then we went back on uh, Saturday for just a little bit. And the, the, the daylight and dark difference between Friday and Saturday. So everyone says if you can go Thursday, go Thursday. We can't. It's just not possible for us from where we have to come from and work. But we did Thursday. Um, and it, and it uh, excuse me, we did Friday, and it was amazing uh, for sure. And um, if there's people you do want to meet in their personalities, one of the tips that we're going to share with you is actually go to those places first. Uh, when you register for the NWTF Convention and Sports Show, uh, you have to be a member of NWTF and go to nwtf.org and do that. Uh, and when you get that squared away and you order your tickets, when you get there at the convention, you're going to go to registration. Then they're going to put a wristband around you. That wristband will stay with you until your, the sports show is over or until you go home, of course. And that's how you get in, in and out of the sports show convention itself. There's going to be an, uh, there'll be a map, of course, you can look at. But there's an, also an app that we used on our phone called WUVA, W-H-O-O-V-A, as I believe. And you can download that, and it has all the events that's going on. Anytime there's an announcement uh, that's going to be happening, uh, that's going to pop up. You'll get an alert. So if you wanted to go see some of the uh, other competitions, for instance, that's not out on the sports show floor, you would know when that's happening. I know for us and my wife, that was a huge help. She said, hey, Shannon, hey, Bray, there's something going on over here. And, mm -hmm. and we knew that for sure. Uh, so be sure you get your tickets in advance. The parking, we were able to park there at the event location, but they do shuttle you. 
uh, via the nice buses up to, uh, to the uh, convention area. You'll go in, and when you go in, you're immediately going to see the uh, atrium area, uh, and then you'll make your way into the sports show itself. Braden brought up a great point, man. Walking shoes. Uh, oh, you're going to do yeah. a lot of walking and a backpack. Um, yep. Backpacks were lifesavers for us. Yeah, I, I'm i glad I had one. I was able to put all the whatever merchandise, hats, calls, whatever I had in there. Didn't have to carry them around. And the one thing about that is that it wasn't big enough to carry the turkey vest. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing. Sure, but. absolutely, and that's and that's another good point. You know, some of the tips that we want to bring to you there, other than going to see the people you want to see first, uh, you know, parking, you know, getting your tickets in advance, um, you know, is if you're going to buy product, make sure you have something to put it in there. There are some really good deals, so if you have a little bit of extra cash uh, handy or a little bit of funds available, we walked away with there with uh, with, with more items. Uh, Brayden right. was able yeah. to select him out of vest. And had a great experience with that, which we'll go over here in, in, in just a moment there for you. When you see these artists, as Braden mentioned, there was artwork on feathers, which you'll see on the screen. It's just not as talking heads. It's amazing. The taxidermy work. Yes. Uh, the call making work is was uh, mind boggling for sure. Um, however, if you do buy stuff, be prepared to carry it out um, mm -hmm. there. It's probably going to be cold last year. Uh, of course, it was blowing snow. Uh, so, you know, it's one of those how you layer properly. Uh, the nice thing is the bus is going to pick you up and take you there. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind. Food-wise, certainly you can take water in with you. If you want to take mm -hmm. in snacks, you can do that. But they're actually at in the atrium area. There's going to be kind of a, I say, a food court area. And you will find Cinnabon, uh, Auntie Anne's, uh, Paisano's Pizzeria, if I say that correctly, that's where we had lunch at last yeah. year. There's a there's a Stax, which is a burger place. There's Bravo, Giletto, and uh, Carvel, which I think are more like dessert type places. There's other uh, more fancier type restaurants there, but for lunch, that's kind of what we did. I will tell you that the lines will get backed up; they will get long. However, mm -hmm. you know we made it through pretty good there yeah. um, on Friday. We kind of I think. They anticipated that so mm -hmm. we kind of left out there and uh you know the, the food was was good we were happy with that mm -hmm. uh, but that's going to be key keep keep in mind that uh you know you're going to be competing with the other numbers of people that may not have brought snacks and stuff yeah. for sure yeah um tell them you know right quick about some of your experiences there with with the vendors you know maybe with the vest some of the the calls and maybe mm -hmm. some of the help that you got yeah. that uh you folks can look forward to so I'll start off talking about my turkey vest. I believe it was close to the end of Friday. Yes, because Saturday was a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. But um, the brand right here is, uh, let me see here. It's Blocker. She, yeah, Blocker. They make the, or they used to, the scent blocker stuff you'll see in the stores like Bass Pro. But there was this um, man there in the booth. He helped me very much pick out the size and um, help it fit to me. And then um, he was just super nice. He was willing to help. He was he was really just, he's really wanting to help and selling some products there. I'm sure they sold quite a bit. Absolutely. And you had just turned 13. Yeah. So it was kind of a, yeah. kind of a birthday kind of thing for, for Braden there. And the other thing that, that was awesome too was, uh, you experienced it, uh, you know, folks helping you with diaphragm calls, and, mm -hmm. and, and you saw that with other people, too. Yeah. So when we went there, I was, I have, I didn't know how to use a diaphragm turkey call, but now I've learned it. There was a gentleman at the um, bone collector booth who was trying to help me there, but you just had to play around with it, and I finally got it. Absolutely. When we was back home. Yeah, yeah. Hey, just uh, tell about, uh, you know, some, some of the other calls that you played around with there. You got a couple of uh, pot calls. Yeah. And, uh, I got some pot calls. They're called Pecker Wrecker. I thought that was a nice name. <laughs> <laughs> Make some good calls, though, and strikers there. I got me two of them calls. Sound really nice. And then there was, um, trying to think here. A lot of places just had the calls like on tables. You can go and try them out. 
of course not the mouth calls, but like pot calls and box calls, you could just go there on the table and try them out. And that's alongside just going there, you can hold guns and look at the red dots, and then there was ammunition. Absolutely. There was even a ballistic gel block, if any of y'all know what that is. It's like a gel-like substance to replicate flesh as if it was a, say, turkey skin on the inside. And someone had shot it with a shotgun to show their ammunition off. And then the show deals had TSS, which is $50, marked down to like $35 and $30. But it was a really enjoyable experience. Never experienced nothing like it. No one being at Atlanta the week, two weeks, three weeks prior at a fly fishing show there. I was expecting something that size, maybe a little bit bigger. But it was an amazing experience. Would recommend to go. And hopefully this year, Braden won't have a, have a kind of a broken oh, yeah. uh, bone broken in his ankle <laughs> like he did last year. We didn't know at the time. Yeah. So he was he was walking around hurting, <laughs> and we didn't know. So we kind of felt bad yeah. bad about that for sure. Um, the Braden hit on some good points there. The manufacturers, uh, decoys. You're going to see all kinds of decoys. You're going to see blinds. We actually left there with a nice double bull blind, and mm -hmm. those folks were amazing, and everyone was amazing. And I'm not, we're not sponsored by anybody. We're just normal folks, and hopefully you're just like us, and we just wanted to bring this information there to you so you kind of know what you're getting into. We, last year, were looking at videos and like, okay, what is it like? And mm -hmm. I know we're late to the game getting this out. However, we wanted to wait until we had the dates for 2024 so we could bring that information there to you so hopefully this is fresh and i hope you find this information valuable and if so if you would hit that like and subscribe we greatly appreciate it if you have any questions you can reach out to us directly at messerbranchoutdoors at gmail.com or you can leave a question in the comments down below if you have any of those taxidermy competitions amazing uh, shane faulkner we saw his uh, he was one of the winners there's several winners there's different categories he was from alabama um, he, he did a, a turkey uh, mount display taxidermy, but the, the, it was a standing, but it was in a, the base was a shape of a guitar, and it was in the snow, yes. and there was a fence, uh, and you'll see that there, um, certainly some of the footage that we're putting up there for you, but the deer, we yes. wasn't expecting the deer mm -hmm. or the other stuff. No. Uh, you know, if you're interested in taking a hunt somewhere or safari, yeah. uh, man, side by sides, uh, you, you know, you're, you have questions about, you know, food plots. What should mm -hmm. you plant for your turkeys? Things like that. There's people there to help you with that. Ladies, if you're looking for, as Braden said, jewelry, uh, you know, some apparel, things like that, there's something there for you as well. So understand that you will have a great time regardless of what your interests are. Just go and have a great family time. And that's what we stress. We saw tons mm -hmm. and tons of families uh, this year. Uh, Braden's brother, our oldest, is going to be able to fly in to, to Nashville, and he's going to get to go with mm -hmm. us this year so he can get him a, a vest uh, there uh, mm -hmm. for his birthday, which is past. We promised him we would do that there as well. So um, it's the time. All the new products released, and, and uh, you know, you got to go. You got to go for sure. Yeah. Um, anything you need to add to that, Bray? No, not really. Well, here's the important announcement that we asked you folks to stick around for, and we appreciate it. Your 2024 show dates for the sports show is going to be February the 15th through the 17th. Once again, that's 215 through 217. Get your tickets now. If you wait until the 14th, those ticket prices go up to um, $50. Uh, um, it's 35 with you know your membership, and then you get a uh, when you join NWTF, you actually get a $25 Bass Pro Cabela's yeah. gift right. card or 20 or something like that. I don't yeah, want to misquote. That. Don't want people giving me hate mail or anything like that. <laughs> I'm just going off the top of my head um, there, but uh, that's something you need to do. Do everything in advance because I will tell you that if you don't, the lines are exceptionally long yes. to get the registration done then you're missing out on your floor time for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I think Braden did a great job kind of telling you his experiences there. You're going to see everybody you see on TV, whether it's the Outdoor Channel, Pursuit Channel, Waypoints, things like that, and then and Plus. And they, our experiences was they was really great to, uh, to everybody. Uh, we saw them being very 
generous with her time, very genuine mm-hmm. with her time, and very humble yes. as well because you don't know what you get. One of my friends says sometimes when you meet your heroes, you get let down. And I think in this case, it was just the opposite, certainly for, yeah. for Braden. And, of course, Tanya, my yeah. wife, she was uh, she was right there, too. Yeah. Man. It, it, was, it was awesome for sure. So anything else you need to add to it, bud? I was wanting to say with all the different um, variety of stu- products you're going to have there, there was even Black Rifle Coffee Company. There were so many um Raffle tickets going off. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that, man. And Raffles. 1911s, they were give, not yeah. given out. I mean, it was... Uh, yeah. They weren't giving it away, but they were but they were <laughs> a limited number of raffle tickets uh, that they were doing drawings throughout the days mm-hmm. on all of those days. Uh, yes. Great point, man. Totally yeah. slipped my mind. Didn't put that down. And then the uh, calling competitions on Saturday there, me and dad was heading out, and there was a... At the Mossy Oak booth, there was... Youth calling competition with the maximum age of 14 or 15. Yeah. I can't remember. Just kind of a pop-up. They just yeah. did an announcement over the loudspeaker, one mm-hmm. MCs for us Navy guys there. You know, hey, you know, come to the to the Mossy Oak, mm-hmm. and we're going to have just kind of a pop, pop-up turkey call competition. Mm-hmm. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, it's Nashville, right? <laughs> there was people at some of the booths in there playing music. Um, oh, yeah. You know, there were yep. artists yep. there, maybe not as well-known. Uh, so yeah, it was just really a great, great, uh, great time for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Would go again. Yeah, great We're, deals for sure. It's a great time. Great way to learn a lot. Great way to kick off your 2024 turkey hunting season if you think about it, which is right around the corner. I'm pretty excited yeah. for this upcoming season. I think you are yeah. too. Yeah, because last season I had a cast since about my broken ankle. Found out at the NWTF there. So I didn't get to do much hunting. But a little bit of hunting I did get to do with bag one, my brother. Absolutely. Alex got him his first bird. Yeah, and be sure to go watch that video. That link will actually be, it'll, it'll pop up there for you to go watch those videos. Hey, our first time doing that too, and I will tell you something. I have a great appreciation for people who do that all the time, trying <laughs> to self-film, and we were using a go, oh my gosh. Yeah. But I think a lot of folks are like us. They're trying to figure out what they're doing, and they want to do it. And for us, we have that on video. Yes. We'd love to have your first kill yeah. on video a couple years ago, but we got your brothers, and it was, and you were there. And yes, it, it was awesome. So watch that video, and uh, man, I think we kind of hit everything that we promised we would in this video for everybody. Yeah, I believe so. so. All right, well, awesome, folks. We appreciate you watching. If you would do us a favor, we're trying to grow. We're just like you. We're just average folks here, trying to share our experiences with you. We don't have a ton of money, but we have a ton of fun. And uh, hit that like and subscribe. Share this video with with others. Like, you know, comment. And follow us on all of our social media platforms as well. Folks, we look forward to seeing you at the 2024 show in Nashville. If you see us, say hi to us. We'd love to meet you. Y'all take care, and we'll catch you on the next video.